What's up? What's up, everybody? Welcome to Whatever It Takes Wednesday. Uh, Dan McCall here, episode uh, number 15. I'm glad we're in here. F 15 weeks in here with Whatever It Takes Wednesday. My mouth's already dry and I just started. Hold on a second. <laughs> but anyway, I'm very, very, uh, very honored and very, uh, very uh, happy to have my really good friend Joe uh, Stewart here on today. Uh, if you don't know, yep, if you don't know Joe Stewart, um, he's an entrepreneur. Um, Four-time uh, book author, uh, Joe goes to uh, Joe's in the top one percent of uh, any uh, network marketing or internet marketing program he associates with. Um, uh, influ uh, influencer on uh, social media, um, and I'm just uh, proud and, and happy to have to have Joe on here. I'm looking to learn. I'm looking to learn from Joe myself. I'm humble, you know what I mean. And uh, I know Joe's humble too. I know that's a really good thing about him. I can just tell by the way he's like. You know, it seems like he collects information when he's when he's out. You know, absolutely. So, but uh, but anyway, so we're we're gonna start it out. We're we're gonna start this out asking uh, asking Joe some some questions. Um, I got my man Bill Connolly in the background. He 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 can help out with some questions and stuff like that. Bill's been on our show before too. A super awesome guy. Brought me some wine today. Thank you, Bill. So nice of him, man. <laughs> <laughs> so we got my man Paul Beaster in, in the building, co-host. Co-host, whatever it takes. Sure. Wednesday, baby. Yeah, bring it. Yup. So we're gonna we're gonna start this out, and as more people hop on here, we're also gonna talk about a contest as well that we're gonna be doing. But but for now, uh, for starters here, I uh, just want to ask uh, ask my man uh, Joe. Um, you know, you know where you're from, man. Who who is Joe? Who is Joe Stewart, man? Yeah, man. I'm just a regular guy, you know. Um... My, you know, my parents split up when I was real young, so I had, you know, like, that's kind of how life always was for me. You know, I was living with diff different parents and stuff. And, um, you know, I, I, share, I, I tell people that because, you know, people, maybe people out there can relate. You know, you parents split up and you have to move and stuff like that. And sometimes it sucks, but, you know, sometimes it's, it's good, you know, because your life changes and you know, maybe parents get remarried or whatever the case may be. Um, you know, I grew up in Florida. You know, we, we were living in Chicago and my parents split. And... <clears throat> I don't know who, my dad or my mom got a job down in Florida, so we all moved down to South Florida. Uh, pretty much been there ever since. And, um, you know, I, I mean, growing up, you know, first through elementary school and middle, middle school, I was a really good student, you know, straight A's, loved to read, loved school and everything, and then kind of got to high school and started taking guitar lessons, and, you know, high school was just, I mean, you know, my least priority. You know, I started skipping school, started, uh, <laughs> I'm just being honest, you know, started yeah, skipping school, you know, stuff. you know, being, being in, I was in a band, you know, playing guitar, uh, you know, started getting into some trouble and stuff like that, and uh, eventually, you know, so, I mean, I was in high school until about a junior year. I mean, I, you know, I actually dropped out of high school. I was, like I said, I was more interested in playing in a band. I had a job at a, a local guitar store. I was, I was teaching guitar lessons, so I feel like maybe that's why I got in, you know, maybe not why I got into network marketing, but, uh, you know, books and stuff like that. You know, I was teaching kids, uh, not even kids, you know, even people older than me, teaching them how to play guitar, how to play bass guitar, how to read music. So, um always was cool with, you know, learning and reading and teaching and, um, loved it, man, so. Yeah, that's awesome. I, I didn't know that you, you dropped out of school, too, like myself. Dropped out of high school and college, by the way. Oh, and Twice. college. You got back on the, you got the, so you dropped out of high school, then you I, got, entered college. I got my GED, you know, because I needed to get oh, a job. Oh, that's good. That's yeah, good. so I got my GED, and then, so once I got the GED, I was able to enroll in college, and I did that for about 10 months, and I was like, you know, why, you know. Why did I do this? I, you know, because I was studying business administration in college for about a year, and um, after about eight or nine months, I was like, you know, I was going through, we were going through these classes, and it's like they weren't even teaching me business; they were teaching me how to be like a manager, like a retail manager of a store. You know, if that makes sense. And I thought I was going to learn entrepreneurship, business administration, so I was just like, I'm out, I dropped out. <laughs> yeah. So that was years ago. I mean, that was like six years ago. Yeah, that's awesome. How old are you now? Uh, Twenty-five. Twenty-five. All right, cool, young man. Yep. Yeah, so man, that's 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 awesome, man. Um, you know, that college and all that hasn't been too far, too far behind you. So, so I know you're 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 a book author, and we're going to be talking about that too. Um, a matter of fact, uh, a matter of fact, this is part of our, our, our thing here for today for our contest. We're we're going to run a contest for this. Whether you catch it live, I know it's the afternoon or whatever, so a lot of people are going to end up catching this recording. Um, but if you if you can guess how many pages are in Joe's most recent book. Um, Joe will give you a choice. Joe Joe is a a, a book author of four books. I don't think I, I'm not sure if I said that or not yet. But Joe Joe has written four books, so he'll actually scroll through the comment thread later on 
on his own. And, uh, and, uh, and uh, you know, if you can guess how many pages are in his book, he's going to give, it, give a uh, prize out to two people, um, a book of their choosing um, for, uh, you know, for, for guessing the right answer. We'll give you guys up to three guesses, too, up to three, up to three guesses to try to guess the number of the pages in the book. And he'll do what he'll do is he'll do whoever gets the closest if they don't get it. Is that cool, Joe? Yeah, that's perfect, man. Yeah. So the, the, for the instructions for that, all, all you got to do is uh, you know like our video here, um, share our video, and then you'll get up to three guests. So uh, three guests, three guests, guests, guesses. Yeah, three guesses. You'll you'll get up to. So whether you, like I said, whether you catch us live or you catch a recording, those are the instructions for the contest yeah, throughout this uh, throughout this hangout. So I thought I'd put that out now in the beginning, and I'll probably mention it again late later on so thanks for doing that too joe appreciate, appreciate you well uh, you know giving back absolutely you know, giving about. back that's super awesome so so let's go right into that a little bit like so what, what inspired you to to write a book anything particular like uh, is there anything that triggered that like did did you always want to be a book author um i mean i was always intrigued by authors you know and like book signings and you know you just kind of wonder like you know famous and how much they make and stuff like that. I, I was always intrigued by it, but no, I never thought that I would do it. I never really, like. I didn't like writing, you know? Uh, when I was in high school and stuff, I didn't like writing papers or doing homework, but um, <laughs> long story short, I was doing network marketing for a few years and I started, you know, buying courses and learning about online marketing, attraction marketing, blogging, you know, writing blogs and coming up with, you know, content and stuff. So um, after I had written like 300 blogs about network marketing, you know, it was like training and tips and stuff like that. And people were commenting like, oh, you know, this is a great article. There's just great tips, you know. And people started commenting, you know, um, have you ever written a book or do you have a book or do you have an ebook training? And for a while it just, you know, went over my head and people kept commenting. And uh, so many people kept commenting like, do you have a book or a great article? I decided, you know, since so many people want it, you know, I'm an entrepreneur. We, we solve our, you know, our customers and our clients' problems mm -hmm. and, you know, they pay us for it. So I said, you know, why not I write a book? So I, um started writing it in uh, 2011, published it in 2012, and, you know, it's just been going great ever since. Oh, that's cool. I was going to ask you that, too, like, when your first, when your first book went out. So, when you did your first book, did you, did you handwrite that first one? Because I know a lot of people do, like, ghostwriters um, or just talk. Yeah, I, no, actually, I did it the hard way. I did it on my laptop and just typed it out on a, uh, I typed it, yeah. I typed yeah. it, yeah, on a, on a Microsoft uh, Word or, you know, whatever I think it was. Wow. That's interesting. Yeah. yeah. So I love I love that because that's one of one of my goals, personal goals, to do do that too. I know our our co-host here, Paul, too. Same thing. You'll be having a book coming out too. Nice. In the future. So, but uh, but yeah. So cool. So 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 like, let's go back to like entrepreneurship. So like, what uh, like what what made you like what made you fall in love with the idea of like entrepreneurship? Like, where where did that start? That start when you were younger, when you're older. Um. So yeah, after I was playing in the bands and stuff like that, um, basically all of my, you know, we all went to college, but I was the one that dropped out. Everyone else kind of like really went to college, so the band kind of broke up. Um, I got a job at a, a retail store. I was unloading trucks, and long story short, one day I was leaving, and a guy came up to me and was like, you know, you look sharp, you know, blah, blah, blah. We were talking for a little bit. He's like, are you looking for ways to make extra money? And I was like, yeah. So um, he, we exchanged business cards. He said, go watch this video, and he was pitching me for uh, Amway. Right, so that was, I mean, you know, so I went, it always goes back to him, right? It always comes back to him, So, uh, you know, I, that was my first introduction to network marketing and direct sales. I had no preconception or if it was good or bad or anything, and I just, I watched the video, I was excited, I went to the meeting, they drew some circles on the board talking about time, you know, time leverage, I fell in love with time leverage, you know, I fell in love with, um, oh man, just residual income, you know, I thought royalties and like playing in a band and writing books and it all just kind of made sense as far as like do something once, whether it's write a book or write a song or um, build a, you know, a company and get paid off of it for the rest of your life. I mean, I fell in love with that. Uh, I fell in love with time freedom, you know, the thought of, you know, not having a boss, you know, if I want to sleep in a little bit or if I want to travel, um, just all of that, uh, you know, tax benefits for entrepreneurs. I mean, it was just I, the whole thing. I mean, I knew it wasn't going to be easy. You know, I knew, you know, my family was not, you know, very excited about it. You know, they wanted me to go to college and get a good job and, you know, you know how parents usually are. Yeah, Just sure. looking out for our best interest because they think, you know, they know everything. And, um, I mean, then they do. I think, you know, but <laughs> <laughs> now, now thinking back, it's like, yeah, they think they're right. But, uh, you know what I mean. I got but, you. But, uh, I got you, Bob. So, yeah, I mean, it was that and... Also, when I was working at that guitar store, I was teaching lessons, but you know, there were some times where I didn't have any lessons, so I was out on the floor. 
and I knew you know it was commission based, so I kind of got into sales and talking to people, and you know my the owner of the store would teach me like you know you got to ask questions, you got to ask questions, you know when they come in the store, you know hey how's it going, you know what can I help you with, oh you know you can play guitar, you know what are you looking for, and so I learned sales and I, I sold my first drum set when I was doing that, and I, you know my commission was a few hundred dollars, and I was like holy crap, you know yeah, I mean I, you know sales and entrepreneurship is a little bit different, but at the same time I was like you know all kind of ties together, entrepreneurs are still you have to sell. You know? Yeah. So, so um, I saw that commission. I was like, "Dang!" I was like, "In the past, you know, it took me 20 minutes to sell a drum set." I was like, "In the past 20 minutes, I made more than I make in two weeks." Yeah. And I was just, uh, you know, I was pretty. I was just blown away, honestly. Yeah. You know, That's I was, awesome. I was like 19 at the time, or 18. I can't remember. Yeah. You know, there's a saying about that whole parent. My parents know everything. You ever, you ever hear this one? It says, uh, "When I was 18, my parents were really, really." Couldn't believe how how little they knew. They were they were kind of stupid. Then I moved out. I moved back. Talked to them when I was about thirty. It was I was amazed how much they learned in the five years I was gone. Right. <laughs> I love it. It's they true. Got, you know, or like a parent will say, like I'll say to my, you know, like my kid or like one of my one of my younger workers. You know, it's like you better hurry up and move out while you still know everything. Yeah. You know, you know, and, and I, I I sort of agree. Like you don't you don't have to be old to be wise, but there's an experiential component to uh, you know to life or whatever. I mean, we kind of I mean, you always need to just be open. Thank you, sir. It's, it's just funny the dichotomy that because I'm I'm tw like twice your age. I'm 52, so you know, it's just I I love the bright, wide-eyed sort of uh, you know go get them attitude, which is which is huge, you know. And, and I have a couple young folks working for me, and I love that energy they bring to the company. So I kind of learn from them, and it infects me. Like it yeah. moves, helps move me forward, you know. Like we, Absolutely. And, um, and, I, and I hopefully I bring something to the table for them too, in terms of just like, you know. Oh yeah, you got it. You got to help them out or whatever. You got the wisdom. I was I go to you for for stuff. So awesome, man. I love how loud, you know. There's, it's 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 funny. Like every every story I talk to about successful people or entrepreneurs or you know, people that are, you know, launching their stuff, it's like, it's always like one little story like that, like with the drum set, it's like one little thing, just yeah. like, it's like one little thing triggers Spark. you and then all of a sudden you're like, it's that aha moment, like, yes. oh. Yeah, yeah, so that's awesome. So, so let's, let's tap into your, uh, let's, let's tap into uh, some of the speaking you've been doing and stuff like that and about, in, in your lifestyle a little bit, like, you know, you're like Florida last week, then you're in New York a few days ago. Now you're at my house in New Jersey, here in South Jersey, so you're you're getting around. Do you have any kids? No, not yet. No, not yet. No, okay. Not yet. Yeah, so you're 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 getting around, and you, you just started. Uh, you know, you just spoke at, a, at an event. What 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 got you in? What got you into that? Into doing some speaking and stuff like that, like you've been doing. Yeah, so I mean, I'll tell you guys exactly what I told everyone at the last event because they asked me that. Um, I'm actually very shy and introverted. I you know I would I, mean, I would never picture myself speaking in front of people. So about. A year ago, about a year ago, I was I was hanging out with Bill in Jersey actually, and I got a message from uh, my friend Jermaine Steele, who's you know entrepreneur and e-commerce, probably know him. Yeah. And um, he was like, "Hey, what's up, man?" He's like, "I've been seeing your book everywhere, and uh, you know, I was he's like he was going on a tour for like two months where he been, he was speaking all around the country, and his wife and kids were coming with him. And he was like, "Here's the dates that I have, you know, in the U.S. or whatever, you know, this event, this event, this event." He's like, "Let me know which one, you know, links up with your schedule." He's like, "I'd love for you to come speak and." You know, share how your book is, uh, you know, all over Facebook right now. And you know, I was at, you know, Bill's house. I was like, Yo, Bill, I was like, he just asked me to speak. He was like, What? And uh, you know, we were all excited, and uh, yeah. I agreed. You know, I was like, Yeah, man, I'll be right there. You know, I'll, I'll let you know. I'll check the dates, and uh, I hung up. And I was like, I was like, Crap! I was like, I'm shy. I was like, I'm introverted. <laughs> I was like, what did I just get myself into? And I was like, I don't even know what I'm gonna talk. What's up? What's up, Facebook family? I don't, I don't know what happened. We just lost our, uh, we just lost our connection there. So I'm gonna, I guess I'm gonna. Maybe we'll have your uh, your video editing guys help us out with that for YouTube. Yeah. <laughs> so, but uh, anyway, we just we just got cut off there uh, uh, by mistake. There, I don't know what happened. If we had a bad inter internet connection or something like that, but uh, but yeah. So we're gonna get and continue continue on with this, and and we'll uh, we'll probably fix this when you on our when we when it's uploaded onto YouTube and see if we can get it all to come come together and fix that. But uh, but anyway, about you know back back to Joe's story here with uh, with, with speaking. Um, you want to get and uh, take it off where you left off? Yeah. So um, where were we at? Uh, so my friend Jermaine asked me to come Jermaine speak. Asked you to speak. Uh, I was you know totally shy and introverted. I agreed to do it anyway because you know I knew it'd be good for my brand and I needed to you know get out of my comfort zone. Um, so I agreed to go speak um, in Chicago. 
I think it was last June at the Media Beast event. So I flew out there and you know that was my first time public speaking and I was, you know, totally nervous, you know, the whole week beforehand. But then once I got up there I was just like, Oh, this isn't really that bad, you know, you know, it's nerve it totally went away, like being nervous and stuff like that. So um, I just went up there and gave my presentation about, you know, how to self publish and how my book went viral and you know, everyone said I did a really good job and then one of his other friends, you know, asked me to go speak at his event. It was just like a domino effect, same thing. Awesome. Um, people you know, would be at those events and they would be like, hey, um, great speech on the book. I'm actually having an event in New York in April, which was the one I was just at a few days ago. Can, you know, would you like to come speak? And I was like, yeah. So it's just been like a uh, you know, domino effect. And you know, now I love it. I mean, I, you know, I still get kind of nervous to, you know, yeah. right before when they're about to call me up there. But yeah. once you get up there and you start going, you know, it's, uh, yeah. it's just uh, natural. Yeah, it's good, man. It's good. <clears throat> that reminds me of, uh, you know, myself too. Like I'm the same way. Like I'll just, if I know it's good for me, I'll say yes. Like even though I'm afraid. Yeah, you know? exactly. That's Is exactly. there anything that you tell yourself before you about to do something that you're afraid of? Uh, I just, I don't tell myself anything. I just imagine, you know, like good times. Like when I used to play in a band and we played a 400, you know, played okay. like 400 So you just use like some vision, like a vision. Yeah, I just visualize. Kind of thing. Yeah, I visualize like the last time I was. Because I think that's a good people. question for people that are afraid to go out there. Oh, I, 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 so, I agree. Yeah. Yeah, because it's like so. So that's what you do. So, because because uh, everybody that's watching can learn a lot from you. Like you know, doing that because you're you're you go out of your comfort zone and you're doing a lot of a lot of cool stuff with your life. Like, so that that's yeah, what you yeah. do. Then I, I guess you just vision vision yourself. So yeah, just like, go back visualize. to the time. Like like I said, when I was so, you know, so every time it's different. You know, just in a band, you know, playing in front of four hundred people, the music, the the vibes, and then everyone starts clapping and stuff. You just tap into that, and you can't help but like. You know, not get pumped up and not be afraid. You know, you just go. So, yeah. you know, when I was speaking in New York a few days ago, same thing. I just imagined the last time I spoke. You know, there's 500 people there. Bill was there. You know, everyone was clapping. I mean, I, th you know, I think I did a pretty good job. I don't know. That's just me. But, uh, <laughs> <laughs> but you know, you I, I go back. I tap into that. You know, I tap into you know, you know, they play the song I wanted them to play. I ran up on stage. Everyone was standing up clapping. You know, I just imagine that. I close my eyes. I tap into that. You know, and just. Uh, do it all over again. Yeah, it's, you know, you know? it's like he's, he's creating his own state change. Like he's, yeah, he's making it work. You know, like getting those vibes going and just kind of like lifting himself up before he gets out there. Are you you find yourself getting a little better each time? Like kind of getting a little higher in. And personally, I don't see myself getting better each time. It's always been the same. But people who have seen me speak at the first event and the second sure. or third, you know, they have been saying, "Hey, man, that, you know, the one I just did in New York. You know, oh man, you're getting so much better." Like wow. so, yeah. you know, I'm, you know, I think that's. I mean, I don't know if you guys can agree, but like sometimes we don't notice our growth, but other oh, yeah. people are like, "Oh yeah, man, you." It's, it's funny, you know, people. Like, oh yeah. A lot of my offline friends, they judge like, you know, like like years ago, like you know, Facebook, you know, used to, you know, used to get like no likes or a couple of likes, and then I started growing and, you know, get more likes, you know, fifty likes or hundred likes. And yeah. I, you know, just an analogy, my offline friends are like, man, your business is booming. And I'm like, you know, what are you, what are you talking about? I'm like, you're getting all these likes. And it's like, you know, that's how people, you know, they yeah, analyze they measure it. Yeah. And it's like, you know, everyone measures you a little differently. So yeah. it's just funny. That's yeah, cool. Yeah, that's, that's really interesting. Because I, I, I was just talking to my fiance about, you know, about some similar stuff, like, and having like some self doubts and stuff. And, and my mother too. And, and they, they're just like, they believe in me more than I believe in myself, and they think that I'm doing better than I think that I'm doing all the time. Like, yeah. but like I'm just like you know, just like keep it moving, you know, trying just just like you, like, yourself, yeah. yeah, like you're just trying to get a little bit better each time. Like, but you don't really, but you don't really really know. So like, I like that you said that because a lot of people, you know, that you know that see all the great things that you've done, like your four books and like. You know, top of this network marketing company, top of this network marketing company, top of this internet marketing tool company, or sure. you know, well, uh, I mean, speaker here. Like, so everybody's like, you know. Yeah, yeah. People see yeah. that, but then you know, they don't hear the story that I just told you guys. You know, about being shy, and you yeah. Know, and all they don't hear about all the years when I, you know, wasn't in the top of network marketing. You know, and I was struggling. You know, I was chasing friends and family and losing money and. Yeah. Um, you know, I mean, it was, so you know, let's talk about that a little bit. Your struggles and stuff like oh, that. Man, so, yeah, so, yeah. so, what kind of struggles have you had? And yeah, I mean, just uh, you know, you lose a lot of friends. You know, people you thought were real friends. Yeah. And, uh, I mean, in, in your in your real friends, I think you know become closer. You know, because they cheer you on and believe in you. Um, you know, I mean, it's it's tough. You know, family. You know, if they don't believe in you, that's kind of hard. You know, maybe they believe in you your whole life. You know, getting good grades, and it's like, oh, I'm gonna go do a business, and they're just like, oh man, like oh, you know. So that's rough. <laughs> Yeah. Um, I think 
there's a lot of struggles. I mean, you know, maybe learning misinformation or old, outdated information. You know, it may not have been my fault, but uh, you know, you do you do business with certain people, and they're teaching you how to do business a certain way. And it's like, you know, we're in 2000 whatever now, and they're teaching you how to do 1960s business. You know, I think that could cause struggles that. Yeah. You know, I may have not, you know, I may have Especially not. in the network marketing industry, too. Oh, it's yeah, a lot yeah, of that. Absolutely. Like the old school versus new school thing, you know? Yeah, and it's like people are still trying to, like, ignore it. And I'm just like, I just, I really can't take those people seriously. It's like, it's like, dude, it's, you know, it's 2017. Like, yeah. you know, I don't know. Yeah, the speed of business, even, even uh, brick and mortar, you know, service business like I run is, uh, changes rapidly. You know, yeah. just, you know, from the gear, from how we do business, from how people expect to receive information, proposals, things like that, you know. You're not snail mailing them proposals anymore. You know, yeah. by then the guy next to you has already got in the mail and signed up electronically, and they got the job on the docket. You know, it's true. So, yeah, yeah, it's good stuff. Yeah, that's uh, awesome. So awesome, awesome. So, so I, I definitely want, I definitely would like to tap into you for like a, a, in reference to like network marketing and internet marketing and stuff like that, since. You know, it's clear that you're a top producer in that space, and you're always in like the top one percent of every program that you're you're involved with over the last few years. Not always been that way, right? No. <laughs> but uh, you know, with with that with that being said and stuff like that, is there um, is there anything you do to like just you know to uh, to support the people that you bring in? Like, what what do you think the number what do you think the number one thing you can do as a leader in that space? Uh, what do you think the number one thing you can do in a leader in that, as a leader in that space like to uh, to help people like I think I think all leaders there's no right or wrong answer yeah I think all leaders need a they need like a Facebook group they need something you know what I'm saying somewhere they can bring whether it's a prospect group or whether or like you said people you know once I bring someone in I'm adding them to a private Facebook group right and I'm welcoming them you know make them feel like they're a part of the community and say hey you know, like maybe a screenshot or a screenshot video, hey, all the training is located right here, you know, boom, click here, and then once they get, you know, plugged in, they can watch all the screen share videos, you know, step one, step two, here's how you're going to get, make your money back, you know, here's how, you know, boom, boom, boom. So it has to be easy, you know, I mean, I say Facebook group, it could be anything, you know, it could be a membership website, you know, whatever. Um, but you have to have a community, you have to have like a team, you have to have training, you know, there's a lot of great companies out there, but they don't have that. You know, a lot of them are missing, or they might have that great, they might have a great training and great, you know, group and people, but they have no marketing. So you have to have, you know, you have to, like, you know, the pillars, you have to have all of it. Yeah. So I think that's the main thing is training, keeping people plugged in. Um, you know, if there's going to be a conference call or a training call, you're going to go live in the group like we're live right now. You can go, you know, live like this inside a Facebook group that, you know, all your friends and family are not going to see, only your business partner. So, I you know, that's kind of something cool, too, to think about. Yeah. Mind if I spin off on Yeah, 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 sure. So I, just, yeah. I have a sort of a more general question. I mean, spun off of what Dan's saying just in terms of leadership because he mentioned struggles. And I think as entrepreneurs and people watching, um, whether they be entrepreneurs or just people going through daily life, right, we all have sort of a multitude of things coming at us and struggles and uh, just what I'm getting from, you know, from the conversation is that, you know, at one point, you know, maybe you were in the top 1%, right? And you struggled and you, you know, dealing with misinformation and, and old techniques and things like that that you mentioned. And now you're standing in a really good spot. And, you know, what, what for you are, say, maybe two, two or three um, bullet points that, that take you from that, the, the point of struggle to the point of having some modicum of success? Like what... You know, what, whether it be character traits or maybe even a, a real high quality book that motivated you or speaker that you heard, like maybe three bullet points that for you enable you to move from the point of struggle to the point of success. Sure. What does that look like for you? Um, so, I mean, a book that definitely, you know, changed my business and life was How to Win Friends and Influence People. So if you haven't read it, yeah. you know, go get that one. That was, I mean, I just read that. I mean, it doesn't matter what business or even if you're just an employee sure. or a student, I mean, that can help anyone. Um, so that really helped me out, um, and like you were saying with the misinformation, yep. so I started to go online and type in, you know, like how to do network marketing online, or how to, you know, build Amway online, and I started coming across all these uh, books and, you know, trainings, you know, buy this course, and you'll wake up to 20 leads in your inbox, and all this, like, so I, was, I started to, you know, invest in myself, you sure. know, buy this book for 29, buy this course for 100, and so I started, really started realizing that all the stuff that I was learning about, you know, go talk to your friends and family, or walk around the mall, it works, but why do that when, you know, whatever program you're a part of, or like, you know, you're in e-commerce, so it's like, 
you know, if people are already going on Google or Amazon, I'm sorry, YouTube and typing in like, you know, how to start an e-commerce store, you know, I was learning stuff like that, you know, record videos and create content about what you're doing and get it, you know, on Google, on the front page of Google. Sure. So that way people, instead of me, you know, chasing people for to buy the products and the services, it's like people just go online and type in, you know, now we're in the wine business, you know, how to buy wine or how to join the wine business or I mean, whatever the case may be. Yeah. So I'll record a little video. Hey guys, if you want to learn how to join the wine business, just click the link below, blah, blah, blah. And then I started, that's what I started learning. Oh, wow. So that's where, that's when I, once I started implementing all that, so like I would join a program, record a review of the products, you know, whether it was, you know, a physical product like wine or sure. you guys, Dan has some supplements over there or a digital product, you know, Hey, I just read this great book, this great ebook. It taught me this, this, and this, you know, click the link below and buy it, you know? And, um, so that's what, you know, really changed for me was like learning, I guess, targeted marketing and online marketing and just kind of, you know, mixing the two together. So I was just learning new, you know, faster techniques. Mm -hmm. And so that's when things really started. And it just happened really fast. It wasn't like it, you know, it wasn't, and I know some people say that it's like your overnight success, but it's like once you, it's, it's not, you know, and it's like, yeah. but when you start learning stuff like that, like newer updated yes. stuff and you really take action. I mean, I was on my computer, you know, 12 hours a day. It wasn't fun, but it was worth it, you know? Yeah. So, um, that's awesome. Yeah. I find it interesting. And, and, and it's the same thing. We've talked about this before Dan and I, and you hear it all the time. It's like, you know, was it Joe Rogan, uh, you know, Tim Ferriss, like they have top rated podcast, you know, and people are like, oh man, I want to, I want to be like that. You know, I want to do that. It's like, okay, good. You know, start now and work for 11 years and maybe you'll, exactly. you'll achieve the same kind of success. So <laughs> I think people miss the, they see the success part or they see the, the fruits of the labor, but they don't see the labor. They don't realize there's a lot of seed getting sown prior to things blooming and popping and growing. And, but no, thanks for sharing that. I, I find Absolutely. that fascinating from a guy that just basically started a, you know, service business that you know to, to leverage a, a tool like that where people are coming to find you I mean that's that's it's so much different yeah. than I mean I, you know I could go door to door and say yeah. hey would you guys like to buy this and this or I could just record a video one time it could be 30 seconds a minute two minutes upload it to YouTube and I mean there's millions of other sites you know yeah. Facebook or Instagram mm -hmm. whatever and you know that video will you know, sell forever yeah. so it's like it's like almost automated but yeah, yeah. that's cool good stuff what uh, what uh, this is this is like a, I guess like sort of like a personal question I guess. What what do you think uh like what's your favorite like platform if you don't mind me asking I'm just just uh, mean, curious. Like for, um, as far as their social media goes and stuff and sharing. Content. I like Facebook. Yeah. I mean I've had the best. You're obviously good on Facebook. Yeah, I've I, just I, always I had. I've like, always... What's Joe doing? In my <laughs> See? I, yeah, I don't know. Yeah. I don't know what it is about Facebook and a lot of marketers yeah. that I talk to say the same thing. Yeah. But um. It just seems like it's all of the social networks like wrapped up into one. You know, it has the yeah. live video, it has pictures, it has text, or yeah. you, know, you could upload a blog or a note. I mean, it's yeah. just. Uh, do you do much on the other platforms? Um, you know, I'm, I'm messing with Twitter. Uh, I don't know it all yet. I'm learning it. I, I do Instagram because Instagram and Facebook are kind of yeah. You know, or Facebook owns Instagram. Yeah. So I. I do mess around with Instagram because when I run ads on Facebook, you know, they kind of automatically run on Instagram. Sure. Or maybe not automatically, but you you can tap. make the option. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So I, I uh, yeah. so I do that. But no, Facebook is definitely. I mean, I would say you definitely want to take advantage of YouTube though too, because I mean, you know, I'm sure you know. I mean, yeah. it's just so easy to rank on the front page of Google with a yeah. YouTube video. You know. Um, oh yeah. But you know, it's. I think it's also good to blog. You know, have a WordPress blog. You know, it's might not be a social media network, but that's like your central hub where you can have people or have your, you know, your Facebook fan page yeah. on the side, your Twitter feed, your banner ads. Yeah, you can have, I have banner ads to buy my books. I have, uh, I don't know, like join my team here, you know, so it's very, um, and you know, I haven't really blogged in a while, but you know, I'm still getting a hundred views a day just because I wrote, you know, 300 articles Before. years ago. Yeah, wow. you know, so, yeah. I mean, I'm sure if I started blogging again, I could pick it up. I've just been, you know, yeah, you know. I know what you mean. I'm not a, a major blogger either. I'm more of a video guy myself. Right, yeah, it seems quicker. and. Yeah, 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 get it done, get it done. So, hey, what's up, everybody on there? Thanks for, for, for coming on here, everybody. I see you here, what's Terrence. Up, Terrence? Terrence, give a couple shout-outs. My man, L. Campbell, what's going on? Ernest, my man. Bill Connolly's watching. <laughs> Corey Smith is my neighbor. He just got started in, uh, on Amazon. That's what's up, Corey? Cool. That's awesome. Yeah. yeah, so awesome, awesome. So I got some other questions too that are like brewing in the background too. Like a couple that I always asked uh, 
ask as well. Oh yeah, on this video too, because I know people are going to get, to, so today's going to be like a part one and part two videos, first time it's ever going to be like this on, on uh, Facebook, you know, Joe had to make sure that uh, he made, he made it, uh, made it, made his presence here today. <laughs> so, uh, we, we announced it on the other, on the other video too, so I guess it'll be split up a little bit, whether you do it here or on the other one, we're, we're running a contest, we're running a contest for how many, uh, if you can guess the number of pages on Joe's most recent book. So if you can guess the, the pages on Joe's most recent book, um, uh, Joe will send you a copy of either one that you, you want. Of any of his four books that he has, he has four books. He'll give you. He'll give well, you. Two a, of them are paperback. I will say. So the other, I mean, if they want me to mail them, they're gonna have to pick one or the other. Okay. Okay. So, okay. Or the other ones would just be e-books. E yeah. 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 So he's got four books, two e-books, two of them do have physical copies. So if you can guess the number of pages on there, um, for his most recent book, you we'll give you up to three tries, and you have to uh, like, uh, you know, comment your guess, and uh, you have to share. Share either this, either part two or part one of whatever it takes Wednesday <laughs> today. Uh, real, real, real quick too, just while, while we're on that, what, what are the, like the, the titles or topics of, that the books are about, so they would know what they're what they be getting? All right, so my first book is Create Your Own Economy via Network Marketing. I wrote that in 2012. It's just you know how I built a really big team in network marketing online. Um, the second book is Self Publishing Empire, and that's the one. So I basically came out with a self-publishing manual after my first book. It kind of went viral on Facebook and everyone other than Germany people were like, hey, how did you write a book and how do you publish it? So that's why okay. I wrote that one. Um, it's cool. called Self-Publishing Empire. My third book was Sales Funnel Authority, just how to build you know, sales funnels, quick little sales funnels online, whether it's to sell book or digital products or if you're in e-commerce or network marketing. You know, I know a lot of see e-com people using like lead pages or click funnels to do like a, uh, you know, build an email list, of course, you know? Sure. Um, so that's hot. And, uh, and then the fourth one. Oh, sorry. Uh, fourth one, social media marketing principles, just how I built a nice uh, size following on you know, my Facebook, my Facebook fan page, Instagram, a couple Instagrams. Um, and it's just social media marketing principles, pretty, pretty straightforward. It's an ebook. Awesome, awesome. So yeah, so now you guys know the different, you know, the different topics or whatever. But like I said, Joe will go through the, through the comments or whatever. I, I know a lot of people are going to get the recording. A lot of people are at work during the day and stuff like that. You know, with our timing of our our show. So you know, if you catch the recording or whatever, just follow those instructions. You know, like like the uh, the video, share the video, and comment your guess. And we'll give you up the like I said, we'll give you up the three three guesses. So <clears throat> so that's gonna uh, so that's gonna bring me to to our, our, our my next my next question. This is like my it's my my favorite question still. I might end up having a new favorite question question in the future or whatever. But if you had if you were able to uh, if you were able to go back in time and give Joe Stewart advice for like when he, when Joe Stewart first got started in in that a net you know network marketing entrepreneurship entrepreneurship in general. If you had to go back in time, you had a time machine, you know, and you can go back in time. But what, what would you tell yourself? And the reason why I like to ask this question, obviously, is because a lot of people that are just getting started in their journey are like, "Hey, what should I do? Like, how should I be? How should I be thinking?" Mm. So, I guess I would say trust but verify. Like, I wish I could go back in time and say, because I just trusted my mentor so much that I never even thought to like search third-party advice. I wish from day one I just would have like went on Google or YouTube or whatever the heck I type in and just started looking up information. You know, how to grow a network marketing company, how this, because then I would have learned about you know, lead generation and YouTube and all that stuff, because I didn't learn about that for a couple of years, you know? So I just wish I would have, you know, searched. I guess I wish I would have searched for a mentor quicker, because I had a mentor, but he just, you know, his information wasn't, if that, does that make sense? Like, yeah, it makes a lot of sense. Uh, that, that's a really cool cool uh, answer, because we haven't had an answer like that yet, um, you know, because everybody's just like kind of like saying what's coming off the top of their head. And like you saying that, actually, actually, uh, I think you saying that, that actually could make somebody's speed up someone's success. Yeah, I hope it does. You know, I mean, man, like the George—I think it's George Carlson or George. What, George, I forget what his name is. He says, "Question everything." George Carlson. Yeah. 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 He says, "Question everything." So that's kind of like what you're yeah, saying. I, I, wish I, I, I wish I would have. Now I do. Now I question everything. Right? You know, I trust people, but not you know. Yeah, you know, yeah. Because a lot of because sometimes people are just selling it like selling advice and stuff like that that might be outdated. Oh, yeah, yeah, you know, like because they're trying to make they're, they're trying to make money in the given time or whatever. They got to pay their mortgage, right? Sure. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so it's like you got to make sure that you're 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 hearing like 
like in real time information because things change all the time. Yeah. You know what I mean? And uh, that's something that I, I've learned too. So yeah, I love that answer. And anything else that you would, uh, like a secondary kind of advice that you would give yourself? Uh, or, uh, you know, just, you know, if you surround yourself with uh, bad people in your life, whether it's friends and family, just love them, but just spend less time around them. You know, surround yourself with good people, positive people, people who believe in you and lift you up. You know, even if that means you're hanging out alone sometimes, you know, but you have to, you know, if you sign yourself with negative people, you know, they're going to bring you down. So you have to, you know, just be in good company. Awesome. Awesome. Put, you know, good thoughts in your head, read good books. You know, YouTube is free. Go on there and, you know, type in personal development, type in, uh, you know, you know, any of the personal development gurus, you know, I mean, there's so many names, you know, I could yeah. list off, but, you know, Grant Cardone, Tony Robbins, just, you know, just learn about, just listen to that stuff, you know, 30 minutes a day, 15 minutes a day, start small, just, but you have to, uh, I think that's where a lot of people mess up, you know, is they have all the technical stuff, they know what to do, they know how to post, they know how to make money, they, they know how to close, but they're, they're just something, something mentally is holding them back, you know, they're, whether they're yeah. not personally developed or maybe a, you know, family or old relationship, or that people have a lot of uh, baggage that they really need to let go of. And some people don't realize, oh no, I'm not making money, I'm not having success. You know, some people, you know, if you owe if you owe your friend a hundred bucks, go pay him back. You know, and then maybe money will start flowing to you. You know, that's something I, you know, that's something that someone told me. You know, it's like people are complaining, I'm not making money, I'm, I'm doing this, I'm doing that. It's like, well, have you, you know, have you paid your debts? Do, are you good? You know, is, there, is everything lined up with you right now? Like, I'm not saying religiously, but just the universe and karma, like. Yeah. It's true. I like you know, that. I paid off some of my debts and money just started flowing to me. It's it's crazy. Yeah. It's true. Wow, I like I really like that too. Just kind of like let let money flow, you know. Mm -hmm. I, yeah. What's what's wild is I've heard it, you know, biblically from like biblical principles like that, but also even from uh, I was just reading something the other day about about that about being a giver versus you know making money to give and it just it, it, sure. it, it multiplies like it multiplies almost like. Uh, it's like you're finally letting, it's like you're finally letting money like flow freely or yeah, something. Yeah, and yeah. it doesn't so yeah. have blocks. Yeah, and it doesn't control you and it's not like if you if you spend all your time, you know, and it's about the money and it's kinda like almost like a, what I would say, like a stress. miserly approach. Yeah, yeah. yeah it yeah. becomes like, you know, stress factor, like you're counting your money and you're trying to like yeah. whereas it's just like you know, it just kinda comes and goes, yeah. flows in and yeah, out, yeah. like, you know? Yeah. I like that. I like that. Yeah. <clears throat> Sometimes I, I, I like I like to, I like this thought too. Like yeah, that uh, you know that that I that I get from like always listening to great stuff and all. Like like there's like there's like hearing something or hearing a principle or hearing a good quote and like being like yeah I know I know what that means. But then there's like a, like if you're not actually doing it like you maybe you don't know what it means and. Mm -hmm. And like sometimes, like I like to say that there's like a, a you know, if, I don't know if you guys agree with me or, or not, I think you will. Um, it's just like a higher awareness information, you know what I mean? Like you just saying that to me, right? Like you just saying that just now, like talking about putting the money out, money back. Because, you know, because, you know, because I'm human, I'm a little bit greedy, you know? <laughs> like so, sometimes I don't want to give money, like especially if I feel like someone doesn't deserve it. But like, but it's like, but, uh, but that's a good, you know, a good reminder for myself too, like this. Just having a higher, I think it's like having like something I always say, like having, there's a difference of like hearing something and having like a higher awareness to the information. So it's like, you know, so if you feel like you understand that at like an eight, maybe you could understand it at a nine or 10, maybe you can flow better, maybe you can work better, you know? So, so I appreciate, I appreciate you saying that stuff and just like, you know, and just, and just kind of, kind of flowing, you know, uh, with, it, with it, you know? Yeah. Do you think this this is I, I don't mean this to sound trite or cliche or whatever, but do you th you know and and it's going to it's going to sound a little cheesy, but I'm just going to roll it. Anyway. <laughs> it almost reminds me of like you know it's like an open hand or a closed you know open hand or an open heart, a closed hand or a closed heart. Like if I'm if I'm greedy or if, if my if my hands clenched and I don't want to give, I also can't receive. Yeah, yeah. that happens in relationships heart. too, right? Yeah, Not right. Just money. Oh, yeah. Right. yeah. Yeah. yeah, I was going to say, love life, my, if my heart is about our love life, yeah, stuff. yeah. If yeah. our heart is closed and we're we're angry and walled off and whatever, we're also not going to receive what other people or God or the universe or whatever person pleases. But what what you know what yeah. it has for us, we're we're going to be closed off. We're going to have walls built up. Yeah, yeah. Sure. Is that, you, you, absolutely. Yeah. That's yeah, it's amazing. not just money, it's, it's everything. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, that's amazing. Because I'll tell you guys what, this is something that happens in my own personal life. Sometimes I feel a little bit like, like a little bit held back a little bit. Like with everything, like money, people, every, like how like, 
you know, by sharing my feelings and like just doing all this stuff. But then I, then every once in a while, I'd be like, oh, I'm just gonna live today like it's the last day I ever live and just give everything away, give it all out, like my money, like my, you know, like my advice, my love, like abundance, like abundance, like I'm giving it all out. And then all of a sudden, it's just like life's like a mirror, like it's like all coming back. I'm like, oh, why didn't I do that before? Like everything, everybody's giving me love. I'm getting all this now. I'm getting all this money back. Like it's like that's what I was gonna ask. Like, like your whole yeah yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, did that, it's, it all come back. It all came. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like every time I do that, but I need a reminder because like I feel like sometimes I feel like like I need the reminders too. You know what I mean? Like I feel like you know it's like everything's flowing great, and then and it's like you like you, you like pull back and like you're not. You're not letting things flow freely, you know, so I really love the topic to, to uh, you know, or, or, you know, or that topic that, 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 that came up in this conversation because that really resonates with me. And I always tell everybody, I tell everybody, my like, life's like a mirror, you know, like you, it's a two way street, you know, like yeah. it's like people asking me for things all like people say they want to do things for me all the time. And, and I right away I say I say, all right, that's cool. What can I do for you in return? Is there anything I can do for you in return? You know, like, because, you know, the takers out there, you know, the takers out there, you know, they just take. And it's like, when you act like that, when you're, like, always willing to do whatever in return, you know, and, and you know that the world, you know, life is a two-way street. Everything's coming and going, you know, and everything, it's like a mirror. I mean, it's, 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 a, it's amazing. It's an amazing awareness and higher awareness that I was just talking about this having that higher awareness and I think sometimes we forget you know what the sometimes we forget we forget some of the most valuable and uh you know best things best things that are for us and everyone around us you guys agree absolutely like we forget like it's like we need this we need the personal development we need to read books we need to be around the right people like you were talking about right like the law of attraction and being around the right people and just being grateful for you know I'm grateful just to be around you guys today you know what I mean I'm grateful for everyone watching this right here, right now, or watching the recording. You know what I mean? Because I know that you guys must be like us if you're here. The law of attraction probably attracted you guys to us. You know what I mean? And and I'm sure you guys are, are going to get a lot of a, a lot out of this. So so true. We project our own reality. Yep, you got it, Judith. Absolutely. Absolutely. You got it. Yeah. So definitely. Uh, yeah, definitely. Just uh, feeling in a, a good state of gratitude. Something that I uh, struggle with, gratitude. <laughs> yeah, I think you're right. It's kind of, well, and it's funny because, I mean, I come here, you know, we're doing this thing and it's all good. And I mean, I'm ta he's talking, I'm taking notes. Like, I'm, yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm pulling out nuggets, you know. I get, it, I get, you know, more out of it, you know, each week. Somebody new, somebody different comes in and, you know, each person's That's one thing. story and each person's you know, mode of how they got them. I mean, sure, there's common themes, there's common allies. We hear the same thing, surround yourself with the right people, read good stuff, which is odd because that's out there and yet people still don't do it. So you kind of wonder why. Yeah. <clears throat> you know, the other part of that equation is make an application. I have a friend... Um, oh, is it the 820 rule, right? Yes, yeah, yeah. With people? Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah, for sure, no doubt. I have a friend of mine who is... Um, He's in, he runs a huge tree business up in Huntington Valley. <clears throat> He's probably got on uh, 30 employees, four time sale, full time sales reps, like four guys, and he runs an incredible business. And um, the thing, and his name's Lou. I'll just you know, I just won't say it up here. But but uh, his biggest thing is he's an implementer. He's a, he's a guy. He's a man of action. He is a master at taking the information and making application. And that's like a strength of his. Because sometimes I'm thinking, you know, how is he so He's smart, he's sharp, he's talented, he's committed, but he's, I'm not saying he's like a, like, um, uh, you know, like a super entrepreneur, like, uh, like Steve Jobs or something like that. I mean, he's not like that, but when you watch the guy operate, you just watch his business grow and grow and grow, and he's just surrounded with great people and has a great team because he's, he's, yeah. like, because you were talking about that, like, principles of people have blocks, and sometimes people just don't do the work. They just don't, they take it in, but they, they, they don't, yeah, you know, I know I should get up early. <sighs> yeah. Snooze, yeah. you know, like, well, you know, that's that, that reminds me of this saying that people <laughs> might, might like this one too, is, uh, people are upset about the money that they haven't been paid for the work that they haven't done. <laughs> I know you know about that, man. You know, like, I do. You know, being a top producer in like the network marketing space, because everybody's like complaining. You're like, well, what did you do? Like, did you like 
make any videos, if you write a blog, or like, are you, are you present on all your social media channels? If you're not doing that, are you making yeah. phone calls? Are you having meetings? And, and, are you doing, like, what are you doing? It's, are, it's true, because in, 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 me and Bill... Well, they're mad about office. it, but they didn't get paid for it yet. <laughs> no, it's true, and it's like, usually you go to their Facebook wall, and they haven't posted in a week. You, you know, maybe maybe you ask them, you know, did you, did you post your three ads today? And that's what we teach, post three ads. Did you post your ads today? Okay. Did, you know, did you talk to anybody today or did you, and you, I don't talk down on people like this, but I mean, just, you know, yeah, you're like, yeah, yeah, just, look, at, just the look at their wall, you know, and it's yeah, like, you know, Bill butt. gets a sale or two every day. Why? Because he puts in the work, you know, he's talking oh, beast, to people, he's man. marketing, look at him right now. He's on his phone, he's talking to someone. He's probably just closed the sale on his phone right now. Before we, I mean, before, I mean, true story, before we happened in the car to come here, you know, we were on a, he was on a video call with, you know, and for a business that we're doing and you know they made two sales you know and it, so we, you know don't just talk about it but you have to <laughs> i love it you got to be on the videos you gotta mm. you got to uh but the reason there was prospects on that call is because bill and his team invited them you know so yeah. and that's why that's the reason why two people uh, bought the products and services so just throwing that out there yeah they put in the work they got the commission they got they're helping their people <laughs> i love i and i go back to this all the time because I, I once i started thinking about this like even the understanding the uh, my own ebbs and flows in businesses, you know, having it like a PVC pipe and I got like a bunch of socks, you know, and it's like, this is my pipeline literally. And these are my leads. And I want, you know, what comes out the end is my closes. Right. And I just, I keep stuffing things in. Well, if I don't stuff anything, nothing's going to come out the other end. Right. And I got to stuff that thing for a good while. Right. But Little then pipeline, it's yeah. like a trickle flow flood, right? Like that's an old Amway thing, you know? But it's like once one sock comes out, but if you keep stuffing it all of a sudden, man, you're pushing in it. It's just pouring out the other end because of the work you've done back here. Like you've got to just consistent, sure. persistent. You know, you put one sock in, one comes out. You put 10 in, you know, maybe 15 come out that day. I mean, yeah. you know, that's kind of the way it works. You know, what's cool about that metaphor too is uh, it's the whole uh, it's, it's the whole patience thing too because like you're, if, you're, if, you're, if you're filling up the pipeline, you know, you're not getting the, re you're not reaping the reward Ooh, right yeah, away, you yeah. know? So it's like, it's like all in the middle of taking, it's all in the middle of taking place. That's so like where that patience, yeah. uh, the patience uh, part yeah. flows in because you're, you're filling it up, you're doing the work and you're really actually getting paid for, paid for the work you're doing right now, but you don't know it yet because right. it didn't come out that's the other side yet, right. you know? Yeah. Like people ask me, cause like, I, you know, I, I, uh, you know, I sell, I, I can sell pretty good. And they're like, how do you make all these sales? I'm, and they're like, I'm like, and they're like, I'm showing them like, da -da -da -da, like all these sales that I'm making. And they're like, man, how do you make all those sales? I'm like, well, this guy's been following me for three months. He's been following me for three years. <laughs> like, like yeah. he's been following me for like a month, but he was following me for a month because so and so told him to follow me, so I already had an extra edge. You know what I mean? So it's like, it's, it's fascinating. I just talked to a guy on uh, on YouTube, like from YouTube the other day. I made uh, like six hundred fifty dollars off uh, in a sale or whatever, and uh, he called me up and he's talking to me. And I'm telling him my story. He's like, I already know everything about you. <laughs> you know what I mean? Because he's been following me yeah, on YouTube. Videos, yeah. He's like, I already know everything about you, man. Like every time I talk, you would cut me off. He's telling me everything he's going to do, and then he's like, I'm going to check out on the checkout page when I'm done talking to you. I'm like, all right, and I'm like, I'm like, that's fascinating because he's been following me and he's watched all these videos of me already for like a couple months and now he's sending me 650 bucks yeah. you know you know it's just uh it's, it's it's fascinating you know the whole whole thing I'm, I'm glad so i'm glad you said that you know long story short because because you know filling up the pipeline you know it's a it is a patience thing you know so i got a question just on a personal side like people that know you i mean i don't know you but is there is there one thing you know about you that maybe like a lot of people who know you maybe know you close don't know about you like some interesting little unrelated tidbit like you like to cook you like to whatever like, I'm just saying like that's any, a cool question any, yeah, like, any like, little quirky little uh, thing where it's like you know you collect baseball cards or like some some little odd thing that you do that's kind of a personal little thing or whatever little side note that little hobby little mm -hmm. something something that that maybe most people don't know about. You. I, I mean, I collect gold and silver coins, if that's, oh, yeah. you know, it's, that's cool. I yeah, do yeah. that. I play, well, I told you guys I play guitar, but that was in the last video. Yeah. I play guitar, yeah. I mean, a lot of people on Facebook, I guess, don't know that because I'm just marketing author. Yeah. But, uh, cool. So I, you know, started with music and then kind of transitioned. That's awesome. And I still love to play any guitar, acoustic, electric, bass, you name it. I, I, can, 
I what's your uh, what's your awesome. genre of choice? Like what lights you up? What, what's I love it all, man. I do not like country, and uh, you know that's about it. I like everything else. I mean, I, you know, I could go to a rock and roll concert, yeah. love it. I could go to heavy metal, love nice, it. Nice. Uh, I mean, I appreciate the old school stuff, you know, jazz and blues, you know, yeah. I mean, anything like that. With anything with good, you know, guitar work, mm-hmm. you know, guitar solos with good bass. I mean, I just, I love it. Yeah, awesome, cool. Yes. Yeah, that's awesome, awesome. <clears throat> so, so uh, there's one last question. One last question that I have, and then, uh, and then I'll, and then we'll talk about if there's any closing thoughts or anything like that that stem from you guys. Um, obviously, you recommend your own books. <laughs> you recommended uh, how to win friends and influence people. Would there be like a third, a third uh, one that you could give anybody? I think, I think yeah, Grant Cardone, the ten X rule, I think is great. If, yeah. if people haven't read it, it, just, it really messes with you. Like if you need a good, you know, kick in the ass, like just definitely read that book. I mean, if you if you're not motivated to, you know, go build your business or go do the daily tasks that you know you need to be doing that you might not be doing. If you read that whole book and you're not motivated to go out there and crush it, I mean, you just you need to check your pulse. You got issues. I'm just kidding. But seriously, that's a, <laughs> yeah. anything by Grant Cardone is a great book. Um, I'm trying to think what else is that. I mean, there's so many. Love books that. I'm books. listening to Be Obsessed with the Average in My Car. Yeah, I got, right I now. got that one too. I have the so, I, I have like the uh, hard cover. Yeah. yeah, you know, you know, it's funny. Uh, this is a short story about that, real quick. Uh, in my in my coaching group, you know, people are asking me about books that I recommend, and, and I said that and. And uh, one one guy in there didn't like didn't like Grant Cardone, and you know, it is what it is. But uh, he was after they were all asking me about it, and and I was like, and I was telling them, you know, I'm 37, you know, I, I got started my entrepreneurial journey, you know, when I was like 18, 19, you know, so we're talking 18, almost 20 years, and I've been a practitioner of personal development for almost 20, almost 20 years now, and I listened to that book. And it literally hit me like a bag of bricks, man. Like, like you know, like you would think, like someone like me that's like been a real practitioner of like personal development. Like, like I own a landscaping business for twelve years. I would drive around in my car and do this, do the sales six to eight hours a day, and I would listen to personal development. Like that's how much accumulation I have. And I listened to that almost a year ago and hit me like a, a ton of bricks. Factual. Yep. Yeah. Hit me like a ton of bricks. Yeah. I was like. He, you know, the, the thing. One of the things about that book, uh, one of the things about that book and about him, is he like he debunks so many stupid sayings. You know what I'm saying? So, so thank you for that recommendation. I think that's going to be really helpful to everybody watching. It's a great book. Audio for sure. I actually gave that book to Paul too. I gave him the audio version because oh, after I got done listening to it, I was like, Paul, oh, you got to hear this one. I'm not sure if he got a chance to listen to it or not. I mean, he's, he's just you know, the most, I think most personal development. Guys, they're just too nice. They don't. They don't tell you what you want to hear. Grant is just like, yo. Like, I mean, you probably agree. Like, he's oh, just yeah. straight up, like. Yeah. Yeah. You know? I actually prefer that. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I people just, need just, it. Yeah. You know. Your boy Gary V. The raw Gary stuff. Gary Vaynerchuk, he's good. Yeah. Yeah, Gary Vaynerchuk for all. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I like the raw stuff too. Yeah. So cool, cool. So uh, do you guys have any? So 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 that so that's it. We're gonna wrap. We're gonna we're gonna wrap this up. You know, we want to thank everybody for. For joining us here on whatever it takes Wednesday episode fifteen, I'm gonna just touch on uh, touch on our, uh, our 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 book contest thing. I, I, I'm gonna assume a lot of people are gonna get the replay here um, because we're you know because we're filming at noon. Um, you know, just uh, like this uh, uh, video, share this video, and you you can comment um, h- however many pages you think Joe's most recent book was. Um, I almost just gave the answer. <laughs> yeah, so what's that? Oh yeah, okay, I'll touch on that too. So so yeah, so so if you can guess how many pages Joe's most recent book was, um you get up to three guesses and uh he'll, uh, he'll give you a copy he'll give you a copy of one of his four books. Two are physical, two are ebooks. So that's his video ended. Yeah, that's okay, that's alright, that's just our the, the live Instagram one. So, but yeah, so thanks. So thank you. I always like to end these in gratitude. There you go, Judith. You get two more guesses, Judith, and you got to sh- and you got to share the video. Well, how many did she say? She said one seventeen. Oh, yeah. So not bad. So uh, thank you, Bill Connolly, for the wine too. So we always uh, appreciate our sponsors here. <laughs> <laughs> so and uh, so and, and, and you know and, and to to you two guys, do, do you guys have any closing thoughts or anything or? Hey, what's the name of the show? Whatever it takes, guys. You just 
Gotta do whatever it takes. Nice, nice. Just, I like that. I like that. We, I always forget, just me. I'm great. I forget about the name, the name yeah. of the show. Oh, yeah, it, means, it does mean a lot to yeah, me. Yeah. Actually, it's just like so. You can have all the personal development and all the good ideas, but still gotta do whatever it takes. Yeah, you like the name of the show, right? Love appreciate it. you, man. Thank you very appreciate much, you. man. Thanks for having yeah, me. Man. Yeah, appreciate nice. you too, yeah, brother. Nice you. Appreciate you. Hey, Billy, you want to hop in real quick? <laughs> Come on. Yeah, bro. slide in here. What's up, everybody? Say bye to Bill Connolly, too, man, our background guy today. Whatever it takes. Wine sponsor. Whatever get get with Joe and his wine club, or Bill with his wine club, too, both of these guys. <laughs> and we'll, we'll see you on the next episode. Peace.